looking at temperatures that are in the 70s, so we really don't have anything to complain about. It is fantastic weather. These temperatures are at least 10 to 15 degrees above normal area wide in North Carolina. 73 in Mount Airy as well. Take a look at Belus Lake from early this morning. Those showers and scattered thunderstorms rolled through. Most folks just saw those showers bring in about a quarter of an inch, and you can see beautiful blue skies by the end of the afternoon. And we do have a few clouds out there to get through still, not only from Stewart through Belus Lake area, but also along the North Carolina Virginia border. We're going to see a couple of showers popping up right now for you as we've got that cold front rolling through. And you can see that happening here, Reedsville, just along that border. So one or two showers possible through the next couple of hours up until about 10 o'clock. We'll start to see things wind down. You have a trough, that area of lower pressure, so lifting in at least some clouds for you right now. Wind alerts drop off at 8 o'clock, so just a little while longer for that wind advisory. Gusts have been high. We've seen temperatures, as we mentioned, in the mid and upper 70s, and rainfall totals not bad, at least a quarter of an inch area wide. With 64 typically this time of the year, we hit 75 for an official high in Greensboro today, 55 for that morning low. Temperatures at 70 degrees in Stewart currently, with 75 in Burlington and 60s right now in Sparta. Nice, warm, strong southwesterly wind. Those winds are going to back off eventually. We're still at 31 miles an hour for a gust there in Sparta, 20 to 26 miles an hour across the Piedmont Triad. So very windy. Rainfall totals, we're grateful to have had a quarter of an inch out in Greensboro, a little bit more than that, also in Winston-Salem. And that cold front not quite through here. We've got a second one coming your way by early tomorrow. And so that could keep us in a pattern where it keeps a few clouds in the mix for the mountains and foothills. But most folks are going to stay dry tomorrow. Starting out chilly at 44 in the mountains, 67 for that afternoon high, 50 in the foothills with winds that are much lighter out of the south southeast by later in the afternoon, 5 to 10 miles an hour and a high of 71. In the triad, we have added some rain chances in, looking at a couple spots in the southeastern Piedmont especially that might see a couple of scattered showers. This lasts up until about 2, 3 o'clock, and then we're clearing. We've got warmer temperatures again for you tomorrow afternoon, at least warmer than what we would expect to see this time of the year. So we take you back into the low 70s, and we see winds that are out of the south at 5 to 12 miles an hour. We've got those spotty showers for you as we go into the late evening hours, crossing over mainly the northern Piedmont. A few spots across the tri could see a shower or at least a dark cloud look like it could drop some rain. By early tomorrow morning, you're in those 50s, and we're going to be tracking the edge of that front, that southern front, edge of the front, and area of low pressure to the south. And that could kick in some scattered showers all the way through the afternoon hours, and we're looking between 8 to 9 a.m. You notice not everyone sees the rain. A lot of folks are dry in the mountains and western foothills. Those temperatures, though, combined with 60s out there are going to feel comfortable with a light wind, and then we've got those shower chances starting to pull away. If we do see much on the ground for folks in the triad, your temperature is still expected in those low 70s with 50s coming back on Monday and a rain chance too on Monday at 30%. Your temperatures in the 60s much of next week. A nice spring week ahead with some 70s thrown back in by the end of your Friday.